guys, so today I'm doing this look right here. Um, it's a smoky cat eye that I really, really love, and I didn't know how to do it until a couple weeks ago, and then I finally did it, so I thought this would be pretty simple, and um, I love the orange lipstick I'm wearing too, so I don't know, I guess, I think it's really classy, and you could wear it to a wedding, which is what I'm doing, or anywhere else, so I hope you like it, and keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be using a liquid foundation, and it's I just got it, and so far so good, I really like it. It's by Pure Minerals, and it's the 4-in-1 liquid foundation, and I really love this. So I'm just going to put that on my hand, and using the Flat Angle Kabuki Brush by Sigma, I'm just going to take a little bit of it and put it on my cheeks. So since I have a whole bunch of, well, I have some problem areas on my cheek and on my chin, I'm going to be using the Match Perfection Concealer by Ramel to just lighten them up and cover and conceal them. So I'm just going to dab it wherever I need it. And you don't need to put this much on. I accidentally did that. Squeezed it too hard. And I'm just going to let that dry a little bit, so I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast for, to conceal the dark circles under my eyes. And then I'm using the IT brushes airbrush blurring concealer brush and I'm just going to blend that concealer under my eyes out and this brush is really good because I find that afterwards it, my concealer hardly ever creases and I used to use the sponge like the blender and it would always crease afterwards Okay, now that I've let that sit there for a second, I'm just going to blend around it. I don't really want to take any product off where I need it. Next, I'm going to be using the Cover Blend by Exuviance Concealer in sand to go over it so it's not so light on the spots that I covered up. And I'm using just a regular flat concealer brush. This is, I really don't know where it's from, so anyone will do. And remember 
remember just to blend around because you don't if you start swirling it around on the top on the part that you want to conceal it's just going to take away any product and you're going to see it again And now I'm just going to take that same cover blend um, by Exuvian's concealer to use under my eyes. And then I'm just blending it out. Okay, so now we're done with concealing and all of that, so I'm just going to use um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Plus just to kind of set it all. And then... I'm going to finish the face after I do all of my eyeshadow and all of that, so we're going to start with the eyeshadow mix, obviously. But where is it? Okay, so next I'm going to be using the Paint, Bot by, Paint Pot by MAC in Painterly to prime my eyes. And I'm just going to you know, swirl around my finger in there and blend it out on my lid. And then, I'm going to be using the Sonia Keshuk eyeshadow brush. I don't really know what number it is. I guess number 28. And I'm going to use Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Shema Shema. This one right here. My nail looks ugly. Don't pay attention. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. And that's pretty much it for the lid, sort of. I'm going to be doing a smoky cat eye. So next I'm just going to use a black, any kind of black eyeshadow. I'm using the black eyeshadow from the Laura Pro Palette 2. And I'm just going to take a... Where is it? I'm just going to take an ordinary angle brush. I don't know where this is from. I just found it somewhere, I guess. And I'm just going to put some of that black eyeshadow on. So now I'm just going to wing it out using eyeshadow and I'm just going to use a normal e.l.f. small angled brush and just draw a line like that.
And now I'm going to take my Sigma blending brush and start blending that out. And it's okay if you mess up because concealer will fix it. And now just to fix that where some of the black has gone where I don't want it, I'm just going to use concealer to get that line really nice. And then I'm going to use that concealer brush to like that. And now I'm just going to take gel liner from Maybelline in Black is Black and an angled liner brush and just I don't want the line to be super thick because it's supposed to be very smoky and soft. And I'm just going to follow that line we drew. And then I'm going to take the Sonia Keshuk smudge brush and start smudging out that liner. And since I can't And that's most of it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take Shimmer Shimmer again and put it on my lower lash line. No. Yeah, I think that's And then, hmm. Oh yeah, my mascara. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use Mac Blunt. You can see this one right here to contour my face using a Sonia Kashuk. Hmm. I don't know what it's called. Angled brush, fluffy angled brush. I don't know.
blend it down here so there's no different colors in my neck and my And that's it for the contouring or for the bronzing part. Next, I'm going to take this white powder right here called Emphasize to highlight my face. I'm just going to put it underneath, right here underneath my eyes, on the top of my cheekbones, right here in the center of my forehead, down my nose, by my lip. And on my chin. And then the last part is the is the okay. So the last part is just the blush, and I'm using a NYX baked blush in Ignite Passion. One of those. And taking the blush brush by Real Techniques, I'm just gonna put it on my cheek. So that's it for the face, and now for the lips. For the lips, I'm gonna be using NYX. Can you see that? NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Tangerine. I'm just going to line my lips real quick. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Natural Lip Stick in N40 and just putting it all over my lip. Pretty simple. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I think it's really classy and kind of easy, I think, especially the smoky eyeliner. Um, I didn't know how to do that before, and then I watched a video, and it was so easy to me, especially when you can clean it up with concealer. So I hope you like it. Oh, and the Makeup Forever lipstick I used was Rouge Artist Intense 39, not N40. So it was this one, and I popped on some eyelashes real quick, and that's about it. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch all our other, uh, all our other videos. So until next time.